Hello everyone. Bonjour everyone. Bonjour. Yip, Yip and Paul here. That's it. <laughs> I'm Yip. I'm Paul. <laughs> uh, and we're just going to tell you a little bit about our bread oven, which is, is behind, behind us. us. Um, we are going to, we've just started the restoration on this. Um, but a little bit about how we got to this bread oven. So when we first bought this place, we've just bought our cottage. Um, and it was buy one get one free so we bought our cottage and it, uh, we didn't realize till the last minute that it came with another one next to it which is really handy um <laughs> anyway one, get one free um normally only happens in the supermarket that's it with chocolate and stuff but um <laughs> so this was fantastic for us you know we, we we bought this cottage and it was all exciting we got a nice garden and things like that little building opposite anyway we were aware that it was attached to you know the rest of the row of cottages there's like five four or five cottages and loads of outbuildings and stuff out the back but it was only when we were mowing our lawn and stuff like that that we were um or i was constantly looking at this bread oven which wasn't ours at the time but it jutted out into our garden uh, and i kept looking at it thinking you know it'd just be amazing if we could um you know own this bread oven it's just a fantastic building um Anyway, this went on for like a year and that, and just dreaming, weren't we, about owning the bread oven and would the gentleman who owned the rest of it, would he just sell that? And Anyway, long and short of it was, a year later, I was sending this chap emails, um, asking him if he'd just sell the bread oven to us, um, and he came up with a price for the whole lot, so the cottages, uh, two barns, this bread oven, a well, workshop, and, and, yeah, workshop and some land. Um, that was so cheap it was just it was would have been crazy not to have bought it so um yeah that's how we got the bread oven so and the bread oven is going to be uh on this project you know we haven't got a load of money to start doing up the cottages and stuff uh we've done our lorry up haven't we and yeah. that's sited and we're just finishing the utilities room uh, which will be for the kitchen and bathroom facilities for people staying in the lorry. Yeah. Uh, the Jeep goes live in March. Uh, yeah. Booking page is open now Airbnb. on Airbnb. Um, but that's going to bring funds in. And the next stage to this project, isn't it, Paul, is, is getting this bread oven yeah. up and running because that's stage two of this project that hopefully, you know, fingers crossed, will earn us some more money. Yeah. Um, we'll be able to have like an industrial type kitchen. kitchen. In there, you can definitely. kind of tell people about that yeah, yeah. Uh, in a while. Yeah, we'll can't show we? you. But, um, but yeah, that's going to be an integral part, we think, don't we? Definitely. Of is, um, yeah. earning us some money here and every bit of money from the lorry and from any money earned from uh, the bread oven and any kind of do's or soirees or whatever yeah. that we have here. Bread making courses, uh, all, pizza, all that, making, pizza making days. and um, So all that money will go back into doing up cottages, won't it? So, yeah. um, <laughs> Pizza making days and nights. Days and nights. <laughs> right, should we go? Let's um, go and have a look. Let's show the world tour. our bread oven. Yeah, let's do an external tour. tour. So, there's the roof. It's shot to bits. The chimney there. Oh, just there, everyone. Um, we had to do an emergency dismantling of that because it was leaning over quite dangerously, wasn't it, Paul? It was. I'll well, uh, see it better from the from yeah, the other so side. Let's so let's do a this way. tour. So. Half the little well. Here's our little well. That needs restoration as well. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, well. Here's the little door see. to our bread oven. Yeah, so see the. I'll show you. If you look there, oh, yeah. you can't really see it, but all that stonework there uh, has bulged. It's all come out. All the um, stuff between them that they used to use, like mud and. I wonder if and I can lime. try and get a view of that from underneath for everyone. Yeah, it just shows look. you what, what happens when these buildings get into such a state. I'm going to try and turn that up. You can't really see, Go but all of that stone has bulged. Oh, you can kind of see that. Yeah, there's some, there's some dangerous bits of stone all around here that all needs to kind of be, be dismantled, dismantled yeah. and put back. But, um, yeah, yeah what, what were you saying? Oh, well, we're going for a tour around. So there's the bread oven. That building there is our workshop, beautiful workshop. Uh, this is the little walkway that goes between the bread oven and the workshop. Let's take a walk around here. So structurally, you know, apart from that front, this is a good building. 
Yeah, some lovely stonework there, isn't there? Yeah. Hello, Maisel. Like we say, the roof is absolutely shot to bits. Maisel's having see. a lovely time. You can see up there. So this, this bit here that juts out the back, that's the actual oven. So when we take you inside, you'll see. So that's the actual oven area that's accessed from inside the building. So that's this bit here is where you put your pizzas and your bread. Yeah, so that's the bread oven that Paul's yeah. just pointed to. And that's the bread oven building as such, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, you can see that roof there. It's absolutely shot to bits. Um, yes, yeah, so all the tiles, all the timbers, everything needs replacing. That whole roof is about to come off soon, within the next few weeks, yeah. um, as soon as the weather's on our side. Um, and then we need to do a load of stonework, so it's not just a case of um, taking off that roof and getting straight back on with it, is it, Paul? We no. need to do quite a bit of stonework first, so um, yeah, we're excited to crack on with that, Definitely, aren't we? Definitely, yeah. Um, should we continue around? Yeah, let's go around. dismantled the chimney you see it up yeah up there there so we've got two towers uh, there and traversing there the oven and we've got boards traversing the bread oven section uh, we were really conscious of that Paul weren't we um, when we were taking down the chimney uh, there were some really big stones yeah. well we can show everyone they're behind us on yeah. the floor here uh, but last thing we wanted was for those to, um, any of those, f to fall and land on the bread oven roof. Through this tiled roof. It's that, quite delicate, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, that would have just caused chaos. But um, See, so that's why we're traversing it. It's kind of protected yeah. the roof as well, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so that was quite a big job, an emergency job we did, wasn't it, Paul? Yeah. Kind of dismantling that there. That's it. And can um, you see the ivy? Can you see how thick the ivy is? It's crazy how thick some of that is, and that was literally growing through the wall. Yes, yeah, you can get a good view of it there. Some of these bits were about four or five inches thick, and they were growing through the bread oven wall, or at least starting to, weren't they? Yeah. So we've taken that down because the chimney had split and like it was saying, I was in danger of sort of collapsing and falling into the building and to the oven. So we've started to strip that. We're going to clear the rest of the ivy off, and make that stonework all lovely, build the chimney back up. Then we're going to strip the roof, put the new roof on, do some stonework, and then the rest is all inside. It's quite exciting. It's a lovely building. Really lovely. When that's done, and pointed up, it'll be yeah, it'd be really amazing, wouldn't it? Should we have a look inside? Let's have a look. Mind your heads, everyone, as you go in. <laughs> so this is the inside of it. Currently housing our mixer. So. Let me do a uh, 360 pull. Yeah, I'm going to just get the torch up so I'm not going to show everybody inside if we're... So all the walls need pointing inside. Got an acro there just holding up the ridge timber while we're tackling the chimney. There's the actual bread oven entrance. There's the window. So if you imagine in here, fast forward, when this is all done, we're going to have, um, like literally, so we've got the bread oven at the back, which is going to be uh, operational, um, and all down the sides, it's all going to be stainless steel. I think on that wall behind us, the whole worktop will be yeah, in the kitchen, along the oven, stainless steel worktops sinks and sinks, workshop. like Paul says. Yeah. So really, you know, again, fast forward, you know, we're hoping this will be like just a little tea room type thing, a little kitchen where we can serve people outside and stuff and they come down for uh, tours and cups of tea and cake and stuff. Lovely. Maybe. 
So that's all good. And obviously to cook for people that are staying here in the lorry down the line. Not going to do that initially, but we're going to build up to that. So yeah. We've got, we've got quite a lot to do here. But we definitely look forward to, um, like Paul says, uh, bread traditional bread baking uh, courses and stuff like that here yeah, it's, um, really it's a amazing. beautiful area uh, that we're living in um, so you know it just makes complete sense to invite people down and just to, to share, share that space yeah, really um, should we have a look let's, at the bread I mean? yeah let's see if we can get a look in there let me um how we're going to do so this you can but... see there the hole once we took the chimney down that's the hole it left yeah so we've got to get on with that and Put that back. If I shine a light in there, hopefully you can see. So you can see over the back. I think, you, know, you can see the ceiling of it. Can you see all the tiles? How? There's how they go. Yeah, you know, there's the roof of it. Amazing, isn't it? Hopefully, you can see the base of it. It's quite hopefully a big. Hopefully, you can all see that. Somebody's dated this over at 200 years old, so that's quite exciting. Yes, yeah, good stuff, Paul, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is our project at the moment. Lots of holes in the roof. <laughs> Plenty to do. Plenty well, hopefully to now do. we're on a, a mission where we can keep you guys updated with progress. So we're going to yeah. try and do a regular... Definitely. Um, and, um, yeah, so we're juggling, really. We're having to go out and do work yeah. to bring money into... Uh, the site and to La Boulier, uh for the restoration. Uh, we're also splitting our time with um, doing bits and bobs here um, that we can do, you know, without the need for money. Uh, there goes the door um, as the whole so, roof so <laughs> crumbles the roof down. On come in, huh? <laughs> but um, and also um, we're doing quite a lot of filming at the moment for series yeah. two. So um, for anybody that's in the program. Um, yeah, you know, you'll know that Series 1 has already been. So um, Series 2 we're doing right at the moment. Yep. Uh, doing lots Exciting of filming stuff. for that. Um, and they've certainly um, taken it up a gear in terms of how much they're here. Yep. Uh, so it's kind of balancing that. Um, and they're documenting quite a lot of this bread oven restoration as well, Paul. Yeah, they? they're very excited um, by that. So, uh, so that'd be good. So um, let's go back out. And there we have it uh, for today, everyone. Uh, do keep... Um, watching, watching, and um, hopefully subscribing. Whatever you do, be um, great. Definitely, and hopefully this beautiful little building, you'll see the transformation of that. And I know you might be sitting out here having a cup of tea. Oh, I so hope so. I hope so. Definitely. Bread. Yeah, yeah. It'd be lovely to um, share the space with you, and um, yeah, you kind of you know be with us on this journey. Definitely. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. Take care. Take care. Lots of love from Normandy. Yeah. Au revoir. Bye.